Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your November tarot reading. So this month I am solely focusing on intuitive messages from the universe for your signs. So it does not matter what system you follow, whether it be tropical, Vedic, um, whatever astrology system, because we're not going by astrology this month. We're just going by intuitive messages, and I'm hoping to get some uplifting messages or at least some messages that can help to uplift you um, during times where you need it this month, okay? So, only take what resonates with you personally. Please check your sun, moon, rising sign. You can also check your Venus and your Mars as well if you feel up to doing that. So let's go ahead and see what messages we have. I feel like I need to shuffle one more time, Saggy. Spirit, please guide my hands. Guide my hands, my eyes. Guide this message for Sagittarius for November. So you got Archangel Raphael. All right, so I feel like Archangel Raphael has been making quite an appearance. All of the angels have, actually. And Archangel Raphael is a number nine here. I invite Archangel Raphael to bring healing and knowledge into my life. Okay. So I feel like with Archangel Raphael here, why did I put that there? Okay, I think that's for a reason. I think we're supposed to get another card. And I think Archangel Raphael is guiding this. Yeah, look, another angel is guiding this message for you. I'm just going to let him take over. So we have Air Elemental number 18. I embrace the element of air and am open to all knowledge and wisdom. Okay, so there's some knowledge coming to you, Sagittarius, that spirit really would like you to be open to. Okay, um, I think that this is something that what I'm feeling is something you may not want to hear at first. But it is something that will bring a lot of healing to you, okay? So let's get some more information. I also feel like with the air element, I feel like you, you have a lot of thoughts right now. It could be even like racing thoughts, okay? You might be trying to calm your thoughts, okay? So a lot of air energy. You could be dealing with an air sign as well. So you know what? I have number nine. Number nine. Which to me, nine represents inspiration. And really it's divine inspiration. It's about purpose. It's about guidance. Okay. So you're being guided, Sagittarius. You are certainly being guided by some sort of knowledge that's being brought to you. I got the Six of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Okay, this is about innocence, sweetness, um, your past, your memories. Um, actually, I feel like this is memories that you hold really dear to your heart. So I'm not sure why Spirit's bringing that out. Let's go ahead and see what we have for Sagittarius. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Three of Cups. Nine of Wands in reverse. Sagittarius, why do I feel like... Here's what Spirit's showing me. We have the Fool at the bottom of the deck. Here's what Spirit is showing me. You 
being this beautiful Sagittarius on this horse for a very long time. So you're on this horse, you're moving, you're going, and then all of a sudden you fall off. You fall off the horse, okay, and you're struggling, okay? You're like, somebody, can somebody please help me up? Like, this horse is on, is on me, I, you know, I'm struggling here to get up, and then like, here's your friends, here's all the people around you, they're just partying, laughing, having a great time, and you're like, can, do you guys see me over here? Can you help me please? And your friends are like, haha, la la, you know, <laughs> just having a great time. And with the nine of wands in reverse, it's like, you feeling like you have no one in your corner. I almost feel like, why do I feel like this is someone almost like celebrating your losses, Sagittarius? It's like celebrating that fall, celebrating whatever it is you feel like you've lost. And I'm seeing the fool here as you starting off on a new beginning, okay, at the, at the bottom of the deck. So this is new energy, new beginning, but at the same time, there's an element of feeling foolish here, okay, feeling foolish here because I'm seeing people around you who are laughing, enjoying, are celebrating your fall, your downfall, or your loss, or they're doing this while you're struggling. And I, I'm just seeing like you just asking for a hand here emotionally with the Three of Cups coming out and really not receiving that. So it's almost like being kicked when you're down, but also discovering people's true colors, their true nature with the Three of Cups, okay? But you know what else I'm seeing, Sagittarius? Because if you look at it, we have the Knight of Pentacles. He's holding a piece of earth. This is like a seed, right? And he fell off his horse, which causes a seed to be buried underneath the earth. It's in reverse. This is like a buried seed because it's earth in reverse, right? And then here's the cups, the people around you, your emotions, how you feel about them, how they feel about you, really being tipped. Really, this is almost like seeing a rude awakening towards the people around you, but it's actually tipping those cups over to water the buried seed that is going to be your new beginning with the fool. And I think that you feel unprepared, Sagittarius, but from what I'm seeing, you have everything that you need. The Fool has a whole like backpack of resources that he doesn't even know is there. So that's another message I'm getting for you, Sagittarius. You have so much abundance, so much resources, and so many tools that you don't even know that you have, but they are with you, okay? So let's take a look at what the Knight of Pentacles wants to tell you. What does the Knight of Pentacles want to say to Sagittarius? Big dreams. Material world. So I feel like you have big goals, Sagittarius. You have really big goals. And I feel like there's people around you 
this could be friends, family, people in your community who really um, doubt you. And they might even like make you doubt your own confidence. They might make you feel foolish. And this is because they don't have dreams as big as you. They don't have goals as big as you. And when you fall, it's like they laugh. They celebrate because it makes them feel better about not having any goals or dreams themselves here. Okay. That's what I'm seeing. So Spirit is asking you to just... Be open to this knowledge. Be open to the wisdom that you're receiving through the situation. And know that whatever goal you're going after, just because you've fallen down, does not mean that your goal is not going to materialize. Because from what I'm seeing, your goal is going to materialize, okay? Big dreams, big goals take longer periods of time to manifest and that's okay that's the reason why patience is a virtue all right so let's take a look at three of cups we got fear okay Regret. I think that, yeah, in lessons, it's like you see a different side of everyone. I think that these energies, Sagittarius, has been showing you a different side to the people around you. Sides to them that you did not expect or you'd never seen before. And this might be making you feel regretful of trusting them, of giving them care, love, emotion, friendship, whatever it is. Um, but it also might make you almost like you're shutting out your heart. You're afraid to trust someone again. You're afraid to be in a friendship again. Okay. And the spirit saying, no, there's a lesson in this, but I don't think that's the lesson. Sagittarius is to completely shut everyone out. Okay. The lesson is that through this, there is a seed being planted and that you are off on a new journey to be exactly where you need to be. And I feel like everything is going exactly to your divine plan. You are actually ascending out of the situation. And that's why it feels uncomfortable because you're growing and growing can feel uncomfortable, but that's what's happening for you. And just like these flowers, which have grown from a seed underground, have ascended and become so beautiful, so will this new beginning for you. Understand that. Okay, that is the lesson. So what is this nine of wands over here? Let's take a look. Wrong deck. <laughs> what is this nine, not, <laughs> nine of wands want to say to Sagittarius? Why do I keep getting family energy coming out for you, Saggy? Yeah. Contemplation, compromise. Okay, Let's see. Compromise. I keep getting the word compromise for you. Okay, we got tribe compromise. Maybe you feel vulnerable, you feel like compromised in some kind of way, but you know, I think this is more so just recognition of who these people actually are at a, at a emotional level. Okay, that's really what I'm feeling. Yeah, so it's just like you're feeling the vibes, okay? I think that you've outgrown the situation. You've outgrown, it's almost like you've outgrown friends here or a certain community. So let's take a look at the Nine of Wands.
yeah, you're at a crossroads here in your life, okay? Um, this is the kind of thing that it's like once I see this, once I know this, it's like I can't, I can't see you the same way. That type of energy. So I feel like it's like you're not seeing a lot of people the same way that you used to see them. And I feel that you might be having a hard time trusting people the way that you used to trust them. You feel like with the third party card, it's like there's a wedge here. Um, there's some kind of wedge here. Between you. Okay, like there's distance. Like there's something between you. We also have divine masculine energy here. So I feel like this could also be... For some of you actually finding out or feeling that you have been put in a third party situation. Okay. That's for some of you. And it's like you're at that crossroads now. Okay. With that wisdom. Um, we also got unawakened. So this is accepting the knowledge that comes towards you. I think this is a reinvention of your friendships, of your relationships, of your life. I'm seeing major, major just reinvention energy for you, okay? Going in a new direction. You're at a crossroads in your life, okay? This is a new beginning, Sagittarius. Know that. Right now, it feels like you've fallen down off of this horse and like you can't get back up and people are laughing at you. That's how you feel. But that's not the case, okay? Um, spirit is letting you know you are actually ascending. And, you know, in the spiritual realm, nothing is ever as it seems. You've fallen down, but actually you're ascending. You're moving on. You're moving forward. You have learned lessons, okay? And, oh my goodness. Sagittarius. I don't know what just happened here, but that was so strange. I'm hearing like a strange buzzing in my right ear, which I feel like is your higher self, like calling you to this new direction, okay? Oh, that was so strange, Sagittarius. It's almost like, I almost feel like you're going to be doing some kind of strange, like, timeline shift. I feel like these changes are going to take place so quickly for you from now until spring that you are actually going to be feeling like you shifted or jumped into like a separate timeline or a different timeline. So yeah, that was such a strange energy I just felt. Okay. So, last few messages, Sagittarius. I think with big dreams, it's also like not allowing yourself to settle for less than what you deserve in any of your relationships, okay? All right, so we got Ace of Wands in reverse. We have vision and channel. Okay, so Archangel Raphael is saying he, look at this, beyond. Oh, that's so cute. Archangel Raphael is saying he's with you, he is guiding you, and he's going to be guiding you through your vision. Okay, you have an open channel to Archangel Raphael right now. Um, through your vision, through your third eye, okay, so pay attention to that. This could come through in actual, like, visions, um, images, it could also come through in dreams, okay, so pay attention to your dreams as well. All right, so that's a message I have for you, Sagittarius, thank you so much for watching, I'll see you soon, bye.